Discerning Hearts presents How to Pray, A Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life by David Torkington. Chapter 20. Glorified Love. As the risen Christ is a true man, and the same man that he was both in body as well as in soul before the resurrection, so he has still the same human affections now. Thomas Goodwin. The whole point of Christian meditation is not just to come to know and love the most divine and lovable human being who ever walked on this earth, but to love him as he is now. Nevertheless, at first sight, it may seem that we who have not known him face to face are at a disadvantage. Although that cannot be denied, we are nonetheless advantaged in another unique way that was denied to those who shared in his friendship while he was still alive on earth. In entering into human weakness, Christ was inevitably limited by having a human body that could only be at one place at a time. Getting to know him, therefore, involved coming and going, meeting and departing. Not even his closest friends could be with him all the time. However, after the resurrection, all that changed. Now, Raised outside the limitations of space and time, he could be with everyone at one and the same time. And furthermore, he could be with them all the time, because he could be with them from the inside through love. Now, the resurrection did not mean that he became transformed into some sort of disembodied spirit, quite other than the man who walked the highways and byways of Palestine, as he was at pains to make clear. That is why he showed the marks of his suffering to his disciples, made those who doubted touch him, and shared food with them. If he wasn't exactly the same person as before, it wasn't because he was less of, but more of a man. Because his glorification meant that all his human qualities were brought to perfection. They were refined, distilled, and transformed by the Holy Spirit who raised him from the dead into a supernatural love through which he could be available to all at all times. Now this is the love that gradually begins to enter into the believer most effectively through contemplation. Through a single shaft of love, all the human perfections that were originally embodied in Christ's human body whilst he was on earth are transmitted to the believer. Now he can continue his work on earth through as many as are prepared to receive him and with as much of his love and compassion as they allow him to embody within them. You've been listening to David Torkington and How to Pray, a Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life. For more episodes in this series, visit discerninghearts.com or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app or on many other streaming platforms.